How we doing? Welcome back to another FIFA 23 content review on the channel. I'm Slater. In today's video, I'll review the brand new Alexis McAllister Moments SBC plus the Trophy Titans Patrick Vieira SBC. And to start this video off, I will open the A3 Plus by 25 upgrade SBC in FIFA 23, which has regen from its original release, I think on Monday. Uh, is when this SPC dropped. I'll tell you once again how you can grind this for free. We're going to start here. We're going to go through these SPCs. And there's a new price, if I can find it here, on the 93 plus uh, Tots or Shazers player pick. So we'll review that SPC price too now that it has changed. A lot of content today. I cannot think as enough. Every video on the channel is doubling in views over the last two weeks. We have had more subs in the last seven days than the previous 21 days. I cannot thank you guys enough for the support on the channel lately. It means the world to me. If you're new to the channel, I will chapter out the video. The OGs know this already. So you can fast forward every part you want to see first, or maybe the only part you need to see of the entire video, or you can ride the entire wave of the content review with me right here, right now. Let's dive into this thing. So let's start with the 83 by 25 upgrade. I've already done the 86 rated team. I do think this is worth it. I think it's actually really easy to grind for free. Obviously, the daily login, which gives you more packs. Today, I think it's an 84 triple. Uh, yesterday, which I saved this pack to hopefully let you guys enjoy watching this video, I need 5 by 5 to start us off to help me get the fodder I need to do the rest of the 83 by 25 So nice little juicer here. We do not get a level up player. We will take that Tony Cruz and toss him into the bottom segment. The reason why I think that this is really good value is because obviously, one, you just get a lot of mid-tier fodder, which is really valuable right now in the game. Even 83s, 84s, and 85s have a tremendous value in FIFA. But also, you do give yourself a realistic chance at packing some players and... If I were you, and I think a lot of people are already over this level up promo, because I don't think a lot of people really want to grind the game that much. And that's very understandable. That was my big gripe with this promo, was that I, I love the concept, but it just isn't the right time of the year for it. Uh, that's what I thought was my biggest issue with it all. You know, if you want to open, grind these packs and save them for footies, which by the way, footies is like some of the coolest content all year in FIFA. So I think it's totally worth doing. Um, I would definitely save this stuff for footies if I were you. Um, I'm just going to open it now because content's king. Uh, but let's go ahead and do that. I'll end up with like 90, 83 duplicates, but you know what it is, what it is. And if I were you, I would probably try and... If you got a lot of 83 duplicates, it might make sense to kind of top load that SBC a little bit and throw the 83s in it because you're going to get a lot of dupes. Then maybe you can't put it into other places. But here we go. 83 by 25 to open again. If you do open this pack again today... Let me know how these are for you. I Like I said, I would save these at this point in the year, personally. Um, but it's up to you what you want to do. Let's go right into this bad boy. Let's get Cruz back into our club. Let's go see if we're going to get something good. Like I said, I really don't even know what I would even want to pack. I mean, KDB, I guess, would be cool. Although, I don't even know if I would grind KDB if I packed him. So, we got a cheeky Kalor on the front end. And then, internally, we get... So he's the only walkout showing, and there's seven duplicates. And I don't think I have any other walkouts. I might have a couple left in my club, but I would presume, based on what I'm seeing, maybe it's, it's either just a really bad pack, or I would I got a couple level up players. Oh, I think it's just a bad pack. Oh, it's a horrible pack. I got absolutely destroyed by that pack. I got one walkout, couple 85s, handful of 84s, and then a boatload of 83s. We'll deal with that another day. You don't want to see that, so let's move on. That is the possibility. That's why I would say this for footies. Footies going to have like 10 different promos that are all live at the same time. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit sick. So I'm trying to just not cough. We're fighting through on the concert review today, man. I'm, I've been sick the last four days. We're right. We're <coughs> see, it doesn't sound good. Who wants to hear that, man? But we're going to power through it. Now I have not looked at like these actual SBC segments or player cards. So we're going to do this pretty organically. Um, before I do that, I do just want to say, cause it's going to, we're going to spend a lot of time there. Cause I said this in the beginning of the video, this has regen the 93 plus tots or shapers player pick. It's available to you, um, once over the next three days and then it'll reset for you to do it again. It's the same SEC as it was before, but instead of an 88 and 90 rated team, it's an 87 and a 90 rated team, which really isn't a, dr a dramatic difference. It's. I would say that I would pass on something like this personally, because now we're getting player SPCs that are really great. That you could use this fodder for to guarantee yourself a great, a great card, whether it's a Bomb Yang or Alexis McAllister, which we're going to look at in a second. Like, I would not do this. <coughs> Sorry. 
We're in a bad spot, man. We're playing hurt. It's my Jordan flu game content review. But this is an option for you. <coughs> oh my gosh, Andrew. Oh, it's rough out here, man. All right, let's keep powering through. Alexis McAllister, let's start here. Could you imagine if it's your first time watching the channel? You're watching a, a grown man die for FIFA content. That's how much I care. Remember this. Remember this moment. <coughs> oh. Alexis McAllister is here. Five star, four star, high, medium. I think it's the first SBC we've had that is like a transferred card. Uh, which is really, really cool. There might be another one, but maybe I'm forgetting. But I think this is like the first new player on a new team. Card we have in FIFA 23 on this back end of all the new transfers that have occurred. 5'9", high, medium, 5-star, 4-star. I used his Team of the World Cup card. I think that's what he had. He wasn't bad. I mean, his stats weren't great, but he kind of he can kind of hang around. Um, solid pace splits. Solid shooting stats. Great passing. Well-rounded dribbling, solid defending, slide tackle, mm, slide tackle, stand tackle are a little bit low. 95 stam, 80 aggression. It, it's actually not that statistically, I think, crazy of a card. You know, I'm going to really quick compare him to Acuna in a second. 86, 87, 88. I'm going to tell you a thousand percent right now that this card is... Not as good a value as Acuna is. Um, and he'll get probably a lot. Of, he's not like super overpriced. He's in, in the community likes it. I think because he's a Prem player, Liverpool player, new SPC transfer. He's got nice stats. He's not crazy expensive, right? I, I get the idea. But if we're talking about value, I mean, that's all I care about on these, um, on these videos is what's good value. I mean, Marcus Acuna is significantly better value. He has, and I would prefer for me, from my, because I don't even think that he has good enough stats that I'd, like, you could play McCam, I guess McAllister at 5-4. But I would think with his stats, like, there are better cams, I think, in the game. Especially because, like, the pace and shooting stats are a little low, which we could put a Hunter on. <coughs> but I, I would personally lean towards Acuna by a mile. I mean, Acuna is faster, has better dribbling, worse shooting, more defending, more physical and less passing. Um, at 4-5, at almost 100K difference in price. And by the way, I used the Sakunya card at Striker last week because I was doing this random uh, FIFA challenge. He had 33 goals as a Striker. We had 17 wins. My other Striker was the 92 Raheem Sterling. So it wasn't like I had this crazy team. I had a really bad team. I had a gold card. I was rocking gold um, Angel Correa. We got 17 wins. And that's not, I'm not trying to like... It sounds braggy. I'm not trying to brag. I'm saying, like, this card I used at striker, and he was fantastic. He'd be even better where he's supposed to be in the midfield. And knowing what I know about him as a striker, I 1,000% could play him at cam. And they're both Argentinian. Neither of them get, like, a... Unless that's, like, a premium cam thing. What is that little... What's that little thing above McAllister's... I think it's just a moments badge. Yeah, it doesn't... Okay, it doesn't mean... It. It's just a moments badge. If I were you, and I had the choice in the two, I would personally choose Acuna all day long. If you still decide to do McAllister, which there's no problem you doing, because he isn't a bad card and he isn't horribly priced, <coughs> I would probably put a Hunter on him. Because I don't think his defending and physical stats are... There's a lot of great midfielders in the game right now that I would prioritize playing over him. His, the highlights of his card are honestly his passing stats. So if you put a Hunter on him, he gets great pace, fantastic well-rounded shooting, brilliant passing and nice dribbling. Shifts was a 95 rated cam and with a high medium work rates at five star, four star at five foot nine. That seems like where I would play him, but I would lean Acuna in every way, shape or form over this car, especially if you're thinking about putting like a shadow on him and playing in the box to box. I don't think it's even close. That's my opinion. Once again, guys, I do apologize that I'm coughing and everything during the video. I know it's not fun to watch, but um, I'm fighting through it. And hopefully it's not too much of a nightmare on your end. And then we have Patty B, which I think this SBC which is going to get downvoted a lot because it's going to be a ton of segments. Let me go see. 23 to 77%. I have a very strong feeling that this SBC will be like what my Conte SBC review is like, which is I said Conte was good value. 
And I don't know a single person that completed Conte and does not like that, or does not think that card was worth completing. But there's a lot of people that don't like cards because they're very expensive. And considering he's 12 segments at this point in the game, I'm guessing Patty B is really expensive. And this is going to be another scenario where I'm going to tell you that he's going to be worth it. I don't even need to see the price. That sounds biased. But the, if there's anything that I'm good at in this game, it's defending in the midfield and getting the ball back and then like compounding pressure. I'm not a great attacker. I'm a really great defender, manual defender. And I win games by compounding pressure. And the best way to do that is to win the ball back in the midfield. And in the last five years of the... <coughs> oh my gosh. Oh, let me freaking get out this passionate war cry about Patty V really quick, body, before you kill me. Patty V, I think, is the best, even better than Conte, DM in FIFA every single year. And the same way I say about Conte, Patty V is a unicorn. It does not matter that he has 85 pace and 82 shooting and 84 base passing and 76 agility and 72 balance and all these stats that you see on his card. There are certain, The way that Rude Hullet, the way that Patrick Vieira... There are certain cards in this game that no matter what their card sets stay, say, their body type, their range, the, uh, their ability to uh, intercept the ball, there's just something about them that is uncategorical to any other card in the, in the game. The way that Conte is tiny and moves so nimbly as a DM is the same way that this guy is a giant and can intercept every single ball in the midfield and is a nightmare to play against. With medium high, four star weak foot, Centerman CDM builds on the card. He will do phenomenal. The passing stats are good enough. 91 vision, 91 short pass, and 91 long pass. That's all you actually need on his card. You'd put a shadow on him. You could put an engine, but I think you'd be wasting a lot. I think the agility bounce is what it is. You just put a shadow on this card, and I'm telling you, he would be instantly your best DM in the entire game. Um, <coughs> it just is what it is. It's just who he is. And for a bronze and silver team, and then an 81 overall for his loan, and you could do his loan, right? You could start here and say, I, I want to do his loan. I want to know how I feel about the card, and that's totally fine. I've used this Patrick Vieira. I've used the Prime. I still use the Prime in my main team right now. I, I use the Prime. I've had the baby Patrick Vieira in previous FIFAs. I've had the mid Patrick Vieira. I have used every iteration of Patrick Vieira in every FIFA for the last five years, I feel like. And every year, I'm blown away. I just think he's the best. Um, 84 team of the week, team of the season. 88 overall team. 89 overall team. 89 overall team. 80, 90 overall team. 90, 91, 91, 92. Which I get looks like a fortune. It probably is. You know, he what is he, a million coins? He's 1.25 million. And I don't even know if his card on the market is. Let's see. Let's see what Patty V's. Trophy Titan Vieira card is on the market. Let's see. A lot of freaking primes on the market. So he's like one point. He's come down, I'm sure, because of this SBC. He's coming down closer to his SBC price at 1.385. <coughs> Which is why I'm saying to you, man, this card was more than his SBC price. You look at the face stats and you go, at this point in the game, does that's the market. The game knows. People know. People that have the coins know what this guy is capable of. Patrick Vieira is just a unique unicorn style FIFA player. He really is, man. In every way, shape, or form. There's no two ways about it. And I would tell you right now, in 27 days, if you did the daily login upgrade, you got all those packs back. If you did the new Foot Champs Quali grind, right, where the Ligue 1 and La Liga players, you, you got all that stuff done. You got two 85 by fives and an 85 by 10. You did the 85 by 25, maybe you hit pretty good. Obviously, the 85 by 10 should come out in the next. I don't. The 85 by 10 will come out in the next week from today. I'd feel pretty confident about because it drops early in footies last year, but it was not fully repeatable. Well, you're gonna have 85 by 10s probably pretty soon too. It is not unrealistic that you would be able to grind this card, in my opinion, over the next 10 days. And in 10 days, I would think that this card would be very worth having. It would be the only card you'd be doing. That's something that sucks, right? You would be kind of focusing all your fodder on this SBC rather than doing player picks and um, TOTS upgrades or um, McAllister or whatever or other stuff, right? You know, that, that part does suck. 
But even the fact that footies is coming out, like if you save that 80 by 25 for footies, there are so many just fodder based specials that drop in footies for these teams that they drop. Um, that I truly believe that this card is worth completing and would be a game changing DM for you. It's just that he's expensive. People don't like expensive this late in the year. But if you are still grinding the game and you still want to perform at a super high level and you still care about your team and you still want to compete for a ratty weekend league record, whatever it is, this guy would change your team dramatically if you didn't have a dominant DM. And there aren't many like him. I mean, if you had Conte, I wouldn't do this. Um, because not, they're not the same type of player in terms of the fact that he's a giant and Conte's really tiny, but they're the same type of player in fact that their only job is to be a defensive midfielder. They really have no other value in the game. This guy, if you don't have a car like that and you need a car like that, go for it, man. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. There's your video. I need to take some medicine and I think I need to take a nap and I probably need, I don't know, I need help. My goodness, man. I've been sick for four days. It's not getting any better. Taking medicine left, right, and center. I don't know what happened to me. Those Canadian fires, dude. The smoke came to Chicago and it's got me all twisted. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button. Sub if you're new. If this is the first time you watch this channel, I'm sorry, man. This is not me every day. Hopefully today or tomorrow is a better day. Peace.